she, we shall continue this game. By I mean, game that we've been playing ever since we uh, started back up the, the stream last Friday. It is now important for us to keep continuing this. I swear we've already, yeah, we've already interacted with that. Nothing is dry anymore. I mean, the things that aren't getting hit by rain, that's dry. <sighs> well, yeah, we started this on Friday. We've been kind of uh, juggling this and Yakuza 5. If we were just playing this game, we probably would have already beaten this game by now. So it's about... It's the chug yard. Not too super long of a game, especially if you just focus on the story. But we are going to try and focus on a few more side stuff than what I've done in the past. At least the first time I played this game before it released. <laughs> And we leveled up to level 18. Definitely almost over, over halfway to where we need to be. Is that a good guy, bad guy? Can't tell the guy with the battering ram. It's a good or bad guy. He's not focusing on me, so it seems like he's a good guy. Tells me that all these, all these other guys are good. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty Wait, to go around. But they should have stuck to looting so this instead good? of playing around with scrap. Okay. Bomber bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Ram banging the door. Oh, well, he's dead already. Come on, guy with the. Is that bomb? Help me. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, he's dead. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know if that was an accident or not. This guy's moving a bomb. I mean, technically, it's not marking him as an enemy. The hours fly by in the dark. Well, let's pee on that post because it's a fast travel area. We need to level up too. Let's see. Okay, we've been good on health and everything. Wouldn't hurt to be able to. Let's see. Our strength or strength is pretty good. I'm thinking more graceful than ever. A little bit more movement speed wouldn't hurt. So that way you can move around in our areas a little bit faster. Yeah. It's a big door. That bad guy? Yeah. There is something on the other side at the... I have a feeling I'm gonna have to grab onto this. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Are we not dead? Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Flaming. Anything here? Nope. Just an empty corridor. Hmm. There is something here. Got a bio point. Hmm. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. 
Guess they built machines better in the past. Up and downs. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. My guy. It was supposed to be a red panda, but now we have like a duckbill platypus thingy going on here. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Yes, we Gizmo remember you. remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. That you can see clearly now. Oh, that much light isn't good for you. Oh, you're just afraid it'll burn you to ash and you'll blow away. I'm not. <clears throat> well, not, not that much. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Well, I marry by you. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, mm. at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. That's what he decided to call it after he saw it for the first time. It's big and fluffy, that's accurate enough. If you can see past the blue color, that is. Yeah, by the way, we did finish that war stuff uh, last bio mutant stream, which will be archived eventually. <laughs> I'll probably start doing some of those archives. Uh probably beginning tonight try and archive your destiny the ones. waits on the path you'll take to avoid it there's short of breath and death to this zone better take care he who half breathes yeah. half lives i think there's a way I'm trying to remember if you get a mission later on where you get the uh, hazmats That's the leftover you're looking for. Trying not to die from hypoxia. That wouldn't be good. Oh yes, this stuff. So we need to go up there. Oh.
Let's grab that. Alright. So. I want to go across. Try and get this. And also travel here without dying. There we go. So fucking dark. Turn on the light. <laughs> Please. Alright, there's the pieces for the uh, thing we need to build. Spend too much time out here, or else we're gonna die. Oh, there. Brains need more airtime than this. Okay, let's get out. And the epoxia zones, we need to have a certain transportation vehicle, which we're about to build for that. So I don't think we can call our other mounts, unless they're mechanical. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough armor. Oop. He made Didn't a mean, suction yeah. device, so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles, so you can pass and access hard-to-get-to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition. And by that, he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. One Oop. He wasn't done. <laughs> Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. That's good to know. Okay, so we haven't had our thing built yet. But I think... We might be okay... Traveling to him? I have no clue. Gulp in some air. No. Wait. Our vehicle. Shh. Oh. Ah, here it is. Can't spawn it. Wow. Oh. Probably because it's not finished. I have no clue. Uh, let's check the map. Yeah, it's over there. I'm trying to remember if we got any of the... Uh... Any of the quests to get the other stuff. Uh... Ah, the oxygen suit. There it is. Let's try and get the oxygen suit. That way we won't die from exposure. Uh, good God, have we not found any fast travel areas near there? Okay. Hmm. It's weird that we haven't found any fast travel areas. I guess. I don't figure out what would be the fast. Yeah, I guess it would be the closest area would be here. 
Well, fuck. We got a lot. We got some traveling to do in order to get this suit. <clears throat> I got that overcast sky today. Mixed with, of course, like forest fire smoke. It's not the most pleasant thing to look at. <laughs> when you look outside the window. And by the way, this is our new mount. <laughs> yes, it makes weird noises. And yes, it is ugly as sin. <laughs> but man, does it have a booty! <laughs> what type of creature would have this been? It's like an anteater slash mule. Something very weird, though. Oh, hey. The light you see at night is brighter than you think. Beyond this, it's far away. Juju's shop is here somewhere. Let's see. There we go. Try and lock more of this. Juju. That's where we're needing to talk to her. Juju is just thrilled to finally meet you. Even in these darkest days, when the spotlights are growing dim, you're like a fresh outfit. Says he's a style fitter of the most fantastic kind. Thinks you have the power to steer the fate of the world one way or the other. He wants you not only to save it, but to look fabulous doing so. Fabulous. He knows you have the heart of a hero. He just wants you to look like one, too. He tells you to dig deeper into your past and remember how it's all stitched together. You need to follow that thread to figure out who you are and where you're going. Wonders if you ever think about how things might be if you'd chosen one style over another. It's amazing how even a single switch stitch in the right spot can change things. It's a lot easier to change outfits than to change your life. Likes how the world seems to be getting its act together, been sliding down too long. Thanks you for darning up the whole holes in the world. It's not a perfect world, but it's the only one that fits. Thinks it's good you're working with the Myriad. The Sifu there has the best taste in styles. Claims to have made his favorite, the one the Sifu wears every day. Oh, you made that god awful thing? That's enough about them. He wants to talk about him. He wonders if you can see it too. The common threads that have sewn everyone together through the years. They're all broken. But fortunately, he's good at smoothing things over, choosing things that are chic and glossing the aesthetics. Most come here to get relief from how ugly the world has become. He works a lot with mood, be it good or bad. Says that if you can look around, you'll see firsthand that too few take advantage of his talents. Some even think what he does is magic, changing the way you feel with style. That's how he got his nickname, Juju. He's been zigzagging all night. He has a fiber he needs to get done, but he's run out of bobbin. Now his reputation is hanging by a thread. He needs to thread the needle, but the only spare bobbin he knows about, well, he saw it attached to a kite flying free in the wind. He'll do what he can for you if you get him that bobbin. Ah, so he's also a quest giver. Says it's good to know such a wonderful patron of fashion. Everything's so bright! I mean, sure, it's like a that bear sort outfit thing. right there. Just close your eyes if reality's too much for you. You're too much for me. Only because you're not used to watching a winner! 
You don't do anything, lady. I'm the one doing all the good shit. Oh, did it switch my... Oh, I hate it when it does that. It'll, like, automatically switch your, uh... Request. Don't do that. Don't ever do that again. Make me trying to go the wrong way and shit. How dare you. Ride like the wind. Ride like the wind, bullseye. Maybe the dog's getting into something. I hope they're not tearing up something <laughs> that they shouldn't. Oh, well, that's not the jump button. Oh yeah, every time you jump with this thing, it makes that noise. <laughs> It's such an annoying mount. <laughs> oh shit! Uh oh. Well, fuck! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe we'll call the mount and get him out of there. There you go. Uh, at least you can get out of it. Just don't be on your mount when that happens. It's the floating mount of destiny. Hey, we got scrap tower. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, quiet you. Voss is Doss. It's called Stone Split. It's a natural cave. Is it now? Whatever the hell these things are. Drop kick me. All right, all of them dead. Let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, there's super loot in here. She's hungry. Shouldn't be. Just ate not too long ago. I don't know where the super loot is. Oh. Or is it? Nah. Nothing's popping up. Alright. See if we can find any more fast travel locations while we're making our way down here. Plaza. Some were actually mm. trying to build something before it all started to end. We're probably gonna have to get into some fights. Looks like the case. Let's see if we can. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, maybe go around it.
That's a hypoxia zone too. God, it saves every once in a blue moon. <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay, can we swim across this? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Thank God for mountains. Keep so framey. You've reached the end of the line. Bet you can find Choo Choo here. Oh, yeah, speaking of Choo Choo. And eh, we'll talk to him later. I'm on a quest. This quest relies on me getting to this destination. I need to look at the map again. Uh, probably go on the right, left side of it. Might be the best way. Green cloud though doesn't look. Find us a sunset to ride into. Oh god. God, come on, come on, you can make it. No, he died in midway through. He like got stuck before I could even jump. Ah, oh, where is that gonna put me? Your dogs barking outside, but it's not our dogs. Mm. All right. And if you do die in the game, prepare to have a lengthy uh, load times like that. Not the fun. Not the most fun. What the hell? Let's mm. hope the beast keeps listening to you. Can't jump over anything. Well. Since we have to go left, the end of the line. might as well talk to you. Find Choo -choo here. Might as well talk to Choo Choo. <laughs> we'll just remember to follow the uh, tracks to find him. Oh, there he is. I know of this guy. I think it ends up with a cutscene because. Yep, I remember. <laughs> I'm trying to pee on that post and I have to talk to this guy first. <laughs> or, okay, never mind. This does that. Fast travel point would be nice. Let's see. And of course, it's probably gonna switch my, uh. We're gonna switch my. Quest. Choo Choo knew you would make it to him one day. All you had to do was follow the steel path. The rails might be getting rusty, but eventually they all converge on him. Claims rails are like rules. If you follow them the way you're supposed to, everything good in life can roll your way. Says you followed the rails to where you need to be, but tracks have switches in them too. The question is then, will you keep on the same track, or look for a way to hit that switch? You seem like you're on the right track already. He just hopes you don't get sidetracked onto a darker path. Whichever way you go, he wants you to know that the rails never steer you wrong. Stick to them, and they always bring you right to where you're meant to be. Wants to know if you've ever regretted taking one track in life instead of another. If you could go back, would you switch tracks or keep chugging along the one you're on? Thinks everyone has. 
No one's perfect every time. Pardon? Seems like the world came out of its rut and is chugging toward higher ground again. Ah. Can't thank you enough for hitting the brakes and working to turn the world chug around. Goy. But let's not get derailed. Mala. Says he's surprised to see anyone this far out. But sometimes the wrong train does take you to the right station. As you can see, he didn't plan to make a stop here, but now that he had to, he's really happy to see you. He says his name is Choo Choo. Choo -choo -choo. He's been off track since the world started dying, but he's trained his mind to stay positive regardless of the situation. Choo -choo -choo. Says sometimes life runs off the rails, but it's always better when they're good and greased. Says it's about time you introduced yourself to Nocco. She's usually in the gnote pen. You're the only one who can stop that monster. Says you shouldn't trust scientific wonders of the past. But, 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 they're better. <laughs> Has plenty to do, so no worries. I'm guessing, uh, don't get her gift right away. It'll give you something on the back of his like little caboose thing. That's later on I guess. <laughs> It'll give you a gift. Certain scenes like that in the game are actually pretty. This game might not have a oh, new days I think here. this game has a photography might mode. Not Oh, it does have a photography. As I said, this game has. It's like I don't think this game has a photography mode. It does. Let's say I don't know if this game is very photogenic though. Not be so many left. Or if it looks better on PS5. Or if this game looks better on anything else except for past generation systems. <laughs> it's like okay, this game does have a photo mode. I totally forgot about it. But yep, this game has a photo mode. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those manholes. Maybe... I really shouldn't get sidetracked with that stuff yet. Not for now. A rub a rubby. Rubby. rub a dub dub in my tub. You've discovered Fanaki leaves, the densest jungle in the land. Is it? Get hacking. Is it now? Ah oh, shit, something's, something's attacking. Some more e-waste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it good, yeah. You could have missed that shop, Aria. Uh, Myriad? No. You almost look like a Myriad, son of a bitch. Someone has quite the gun. Ah. Oh. That's not that. Ow, oh, dick. Come on. Let me shift it. There we go. I really gotta get rid of that guy first. And big guy's down. Alright, now we can focus on the small dudes. These guys are level 22. <laughs> I just noticed their levels. I wonder if it's taking a while to kill these guys. Must be the last guy. No one else is attacking me. 
Nothing on that dude, nothing on that dude, nothing on that guy. As long as karma exists, the world changes I'm and here. we change with it. Okay, let's check inside here. Let's see if there's anything here. Scrap it. The antenna needs to be pointed in the right direction. Sweet. As the eye box broadcasts, it's hit or miss. Oh. But when it does hit, it's usually right in the fields. Area completed. Try to figure out if there was a trophy tied to completing every area. Imagine how monotonous that would be. Every area in the game. There's quite a bit of areas. There's quite a bit. Actually, yeah. take a little detour. The Maria dude. Uh, we might actually have to go down. Oh, that's one of those. Cool. I'm sorry, Mel. Got no choice. The hell is that sound? God, there must be a lot of them. Still haven't come across any fast travels. What is this? Ah. Another one of those manholes. If the mount didn't throw you, you're good. There would have been a fast travel there. It's another shopkeeper. That motor juice station over there might still have some go juice. Long shot, sure, but there's only one way to be sure. Ah, spiffy looking jacket. Too bad it's weak. You need to get the keys in uh, sequence. Uh, let's see, what is... Oh, okay. I need to redo that. You need to get the keys oh. in sequence. Okay, we did it. Okay. <laughs> so the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, I know there's like one more thing I need to find. I just don't know where it is. Ah, uh, is it? Is that it? That looks like something that could possibly be a better upgrade. Oh, area completed too. Na na na, na na na. Okay. Do I? Oh, I wonder if I have to. Okay. Not a harvest harvestable item. All right. Where's my mount? All right, we're going up there. A 
ping dish like that one was good for tracking aerojets and other flying machines. Aerojets. <laughs> the aerojets. It's a handle. Legendary. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight. Of course. Oh, it's fighting whatever that creature is. Gotta defeat Big Clonker. Act, act. Don't do that. He's dead. Oh, and then I have to fight this creature now. Bam, baby. Where are you going? It's like a... It's like a lesion. <laughs> Just in a horse... or moose form. <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Okay, I, would, I guess I wasn't seeing the amount of damage it was causing. Huh. I wonder how much damage it was doing. <laughs> Shit. That's the first time I actually died by an enemy. Fuck. Still not as beefy as I want to be, especially with some of the more of the what they would consider harder hardest enemies of the game. <laughs> it's like, eh, I still want to be able to tank them. Not dying like a few hits. Sweatering here. Oh, uh, going the wrong way. Why was it facing me that way? Oh god, it spawned all those dudes. Still want to see how much damage that thing does. Dicks, I don't need you guys doing damage to me too. It does do a lot of damage, okay. That's good to know. Ow, something else hit. Stop, who's... Someone's doing suicide bombings. It's not fun. Where did he, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Jeez. Oh, it's dead now. All right. Oh, it's that guy. Dick, I'm trying to kill that suicide bomber. Oh, come on. Why am I even attack? <laughs> he has the same helmet as I do. It's not as good. Man, canceled my mercury drop.
Alright, killed the thing that killed me before. Come on, hit him. <laughs> Ugh. Took long enough. Uh, who's this dude? Pun wam chow pio tatao pizia. What with the looper lupin scratching at every door. Wishes they could talk to friends who live far away. There's so much to say, but so little time left. Here's there's a pling plong booth you might be able to fix up to help with that. Oh. Says some are inside, some are outside, and easier to spot. Just got to look. The pling plong booth's not around here, but it's big. Can't miss it. Once you find it, see if you can get it wired up for talk time again. Maybe then they can speak with their faraway friends again. Says you'd be doing a world of good. All right. We'll do that eventually. To get the ping dish to work, you need to line up the pong paddles for a proper match. There we go. That's a match. Now you can ping all the dishes you like. Spin that paddle to turn the ping dish properly. All right. Try to find the signal. No pings there, only pongs. Pingity ping ping. There it is. You found a trans message. Now we know the location where we need to go. Na, 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 na. Let's see if there's anything else. There's, of course, a couple more things I can find in this area. Find out where they are. Where's the loot? Guess I did that nasty little fight. <sighs> what? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to 100% this area until I do that quest then. Darn it. 100%ing areas locked by 100%ing other stuff. How dare they? Is that thing finally shooting at me? Oh, it was. Well, jeez. Alright, let's go to our destination so we can get our oxygen suit. And then we'll probably fast travel back to Gizmo. Uh, I'm gonna find a safe way down. Stay on top and you'll be fine. Yes, yes. Ah, fast shower. Let's see. Got it. Yeah. Do 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 do. Okay, where is this gonna eventually lead me? Oh, hey, it's the Mirage guy. First time, finally, meeting up with the guy. I was wondering, like, when I'm gonna run into him because you have to run into him multiple time in order to multiple times in order to unlock special abilities through your uh, automa automaton okay, for one thing that I'm about to unlock 
Sometimes your mind creates an illusion where it's possible to go back in time to relive a moment in your life. Losing. We all have things in our past Bow down we to wish me. hadn't happened, <laughs> and can come to remember seeing and doing things that never happened. Like how one of the dogs are just sleeping just outside the streaming area. <laughs> However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Choose the automaton functionality you want to recall. Air glider. I was wondering when you'd recall how to spring the automaton air gliders. Definitely. So that's very important, especially when I get down from a very high area. <laughs> like, for instance, I could probably do it from here. Oh, this is a heat zone, though. Shit. This area is blazing hot. Hey, stop. You'd better have something that'll keep you cool if you're going in. Like, something like that. I might die, though. Defense. You found the cluppy dunes, where the sun rises every day and passing lines in the sand means a struggle between life and death. Bang Shelter 11i. Right where Toxanol carved it out. Ah, okay. The best there stories are about heroes. This is such a story. Just need to get out of that heat, man. <laughs> I was gonna die. Let's say, is that thing coming down? Oh, shit! <laughs> There's creatures. If I can traverse these more hostile areas, that would make exploration ten times easier. And he did. Thing out a lot of health. <laughs> and I think I need to start doing a little bit more damage. Taking a little bit of time to actually kill these guys. <laughs> But they are like level 23 compared to my, what, level 19 or so. So, they're a little over, -level, over leveled than I am. Legendary. Hmm. Ah. 
good in there. Okay. Ah, there's the hazmat. That's yeah, gonna be very important to have. <laughs> uh, the oxygen hazmat suit. That is very, very important. Let's see if I can fast travel or not. I don't know if I can fast travel since I'm in a heat zone. Uh, let's see. I need to get to. Where is he? Switch my missions real quickly. It's Gizmo. Alright, further down south. There should be a fast travel point at Gizmo's. Yeah, right there. Cool. I'm able to fast travel in uh, hazard zones. Just in case you know you're not going to make it, you can like cheese it by uh, fast traveling. It's like, now that I have the, ha uh, the oxygen suit, I can probably see if I can put some add-ons to it. This box once tailed a chugga chugga. Chugga now chugga. Now it's just off track. Every day is a new chance to fulfill your destiny. Your destiny. Fulfill your destiny. Check out those guns. Those biggity bangs. Hmm. Let's unlock that last one. And Sentinel. Uh, let's see. Outfits. We're going to go with outfit two. Outfit two is going to be the hazmat. Or. Well, I guess I could do that. Wait, where is it? Did I... Should be here. What? One second. Outfits... Where is my suit? I thought I picked it up. I did pick it up, right? <laughs> oh, I was going into crafting. Ugh, stupid me. <laughs> I was like... There it is. Oh, I was confused for a second. I <laughs> uh, wasn't going to be good. So I can put the some armor on the hazmat suits. Airtight jacket. O2 tanks. Airtight pants. I think that's it. Now we'll do some crafting for it. Oh. I'm gonna crafting for that. Let's do 32 craft. Looking pretty fine if I do say so. Sweet. I don't think you can really alter the, uh, the airtight stuff. Which is okay, I guess. Ah, uh, now for our main weapon. Let's see if we have a better handle on things. <laughs> we do, actually. I don't know which one I want. Better base damage or possibility of... 
Oh, this has a little bit more range. 55 from that. This is more kind of acute damage. Do that. Can't do that one. I have to be level 20 for that. Ooh. Can do that one. Attack speed goes down, armor piercing goes down, and also critical goes down, but I get radioactive. It also do does this thing called remedy. Kills with oh kills with a weapon, heals for double the damage inflicted. It's vampiric. Ooh. I think we found something that we like. <laughs> and now we'll put an add-on to it too. Only if there was something. Hmm. More armor piercing or that. Armor piercing is always nice. Can have an overall flat damage. Hmm. Do that. Let's do that. Alright, got a better default weapon. Look at that stuff again, see what we can break down, what we're gonna keep. So the handles, break that down, and we can break that down. Base, base types, finally be able to break that down. That will probably be our next upgrade. It's a much better armor piercing, also does an overpower. Uh, the damage inflicted by this weapon is increased by 2% for every 10 units of strength, which that will scale to me pretty pretty damn well. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be our next upgrade once we get to it. Screw would be nice. Just ups it by just so... such an amount though. Let's do it too well. Alright, and my ranged weapon. I can craft a new one, but... I don't know. Weapon's been doing good so far. Let's see... No new stocks. Okay, reload goes down. But my cold damage goes up, base damage goes up, armor piercing goes up. I th think I'll take that. That goes up, that goes up. Oh my god, which one? I don't know. Maybe that? Hmm. Crit chance goes up. Ooh. Isn't an actual better sight? Cool. Uh, better base damage, but it reduces. Oh, better crit though. Hmm. Yeah, I think for a ranged weapon, I wouldn't mind doing more crit than anything. Is there? Nah. Oh. Did I... I meant to scrap that, yeah. Scrap. 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 And scrap. Okay, that's okay. Then we'll scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap anything that we know we're never going to use. Alright. There is our beauty. Beautiful weapon. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. 
our new melee weapon. Sweet. So there should be a way for me to call upon my new vehicle. Can't spawn selected transport here. What? Ah, oh, here it is. I was wondering. <laughs> here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Before you head any further, you're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. Well, it looks kind of the same to me. <laughs> Wherever you wind up, that's where you belong. There's the dude. No more hypoxia for me, baby. Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moo hangs on to. Boy, see here. In Moo. Diava. Hmm. All right. It's Kamako. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not me. It's Kamako. Says a monster Interrupted hunter him. hears many things on the wind. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves, and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Why add food a higher? Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. He's afraid you're just as stubborn as them. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. It says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Quality. Guys, push me to sleep. For you, he can help. <laughs> he understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. Dre. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these Pet little monster critters for hunter. yourself should keep you on your toes. Cherry la fia. Thinks you have bigger issues than your so-called haunting skills if you're going to nitpick on his grammar. Ooh, monster hunter. All right. 
And there's our fast travel Let's point. Let's see. Cool. All right. Let's get back in our giant mech of death. Of death and death. It's a wonderful way to travel. Wait, can we just suck these little dudes up? Yeah, we can just suck these little dudes up. We don't have to kill them. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything over here. There is. Not as good as what I have. Does have radiation damage? Yeah. Scrap! Scrap! <laughs> Alright, let's go in here first. Let's see if I need to do much. Yeah, suck it up. Wait, it's the Scrip hole up. Place is just filled with critters. Aha! They'll all die by my hand. Ow! My guy did some damage. Get away from me, the little nerd. He did. He did. <sighs> yeah. All right. And... Do, 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 do. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Ha! <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> God, what dum-dums. At least being underground keeps you out of the weather. Hmm. Well, if I'm underground, I'll probably change my outfit real quickly to my primary. I just noticed my primary is missing shoulder pieces. So it looks like my outfits can't share the shoulder pieces. That kind of sucks. Hey, it's a general. What up, dude? Ah, don't drown. Don't drown in tar stuff. Okay, where do I go? I want to go. I want to go up there. How do I go up there? Nope, that's not working. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Maybe not. Uh what the actual fuck. Oh, maybe this. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place that up when you can get up to that entrance there. Oh, I had to raise the platform a bit. Redownloaded Dead Space and Psychonauts. Dead Space, one of my favorite games of all fucking time. Still deem it like one of the best horror games ever made. <laughs> And now they're remaking it. 
They're rebooting the franchise. I don't know how I feel about it. Because <laughs> due to the fact EA still has his grubby hands on it, doesn't really, doesn't really make me too excited. What they did to Dead Space last time, not too, not too happy. <laughs> I think I got enough. Oh, is that the thing? I, I didn't really watch that whole... I, I really should watch that whole thing, pre presentation for Dead Space. So if that is an actual thing where they're going to force... <laughs> co op That's going to suck. I don't want co-op in my Dead Space. Oh, I was just talking about, oh yeah, Dead Space 3. I mean, you can still play Dead Space 3 by yourself. But if you wanted that other experience, you would have to play Dead Space cooperatively. Not the most fun thing. Not the most fun thing. There's an ultimate melee weapon somewhere in here. Hmm. Yeah, the whole skin stuff. It's like, that's not what I want in Dead Space. I don't give a shit about that. Locked. Locked? Because there's a power supply I need to activate? It's all something. Where is it? You need to line up the switches so they match. See, I'm, I'm so against co-op being in the Dead Space game. <laughs> Some people will probably think I'm fucking crazy, but it's like, look, dude. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, I did it incorrectly. Ah, fuck. I need to move this one. <laughs> Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. So those are good. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Yeah, that makes the game less good. creepy, scary. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. And for, in order for them to do, anyone to do an actual, like, horror co-op game, like, correctly, it's going to take a lot of work. So any of the cooperative horror games I've ever played, it's it turns more in, in, into a comedy than anything. <laughs> well, you never have to play 3. You can totally skip 3 and you'll have a good time. Uh, I would definitely play 1 and 2, and that's all you need to play. Ne you don't ever have to play Dead Space 3. Never have to play that thing. <laughs> you'll you'll live to the day to where it's like, you know what? I'm glad I never played three. <laughs> it keeps pumping that message up, but it never does anything. Yeah. It wasn't very cooperative, cooperative. September lineup, Hitman 2, Overcooked 2. Uh, or no, it's, it's Overcooked uh, All You Can Eat, yeah. Which I think out of the September lineup for uh, PlayStation Plus, the only thing that we have that we don't have <laughs> is uh i mean we don't have that we're gonna claim is uh the overcooked one so we already have hitman 2 we just need to do a playthrough of it we'll play three the worst than mass effect 3 it is worse than mass effect 3. i was uh, but you're talking to a person that ne didn't really have a problem with mass effect 3. <laughs> you're talking to a person 
that has no issue with Mass Effect 3. Because <laughs> I got the ending I wanted. But, like, I was picturing that type of ending for that game. Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old uh, world. Might as well. Oh, I need to switch my gear. If I want to fight and not die by hypoxia, I need to switch it. There you go. There we go. Eat radiation damage, bitch. Man, these are some ugly motherfuckers. Man, if you played Dead Space 3, tell me how you feel about it. It's after playing Dead Space 1 and 2, man. Dead Space 3 was a tragedy. Gameplay-wise and everything else they did in that game. Just my honest opinion. It's literally how I felt when I was playing it. Because I was thinking, it's like, oh yeah, I'll do a full playthrough of Dead Space 3. I know I'm not going to like it, but... I will try and do it. Then when I tried to do it, what was it? Was it last? I think it might have been last horror month I tried to do it. Or it was a horror month before that one. I tried to do Dead Space 3 playthrough and it just... I couldn't, I couldn't finish it because I absolutely hated what I was playing. <laughs> I have a better headpiece? Is that it? Yeah, it's a headpiece. It has two head add-ons too. What? Oh, ooh, it's comparing, uh, it's trying to compare was it what? What did it replace? 